Dai dum dee diddle dai dum do he lie dum dee diddle dai dum do he lie dum dee diddle dai dum do he heddle 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 hi dum do Where are we today, boys and girls? Cleesh. That's right, William. And where about is Cleesh? It's in Scotland, and is it in Clipmanningshire, or is it in Perth and Kinross? Well done you, you are very good at this. Now just look at this little village. Now what you're seeing at the moment is almost the entirety of Cleesh, isn't it Catherine? Yeah. It's, well we could both come from very small villages, but this village is much, much smaller. And today in Cleesh, we have the village fate and classic car show, don't we? Yeah. And what classic cars have we seen so far today, William? Um, I've seen an uh, MG. An MG? Anything else? Another, uh, a Toyota Celica. A Toyota Celica. Now there's a wee school there. Look, still got the wee uh, clock on the top of it from back in the day. Very nice indeed. Oh, and look, uh, do you know, I think this is the busiest I've ever seen Cleesh before. I think so, yeah. It's, well, when you drive through it, you rarely ever see anyone. Well, we have a little look at the church, Justin. Come on then, let's go and see the church. It's a lovely little building, this one, isn't it? Hiya. Oh, wow. Oh, so we can go this way for the paintings. Books and paintings. Now, just have a wee look here at the church. Oh look, so what does it say up there Catherine? Can we read that away from down here guys? Um, the of Tower Wow! Well done William, well spotted from back there. What's that? Oh the little seat, oh right let's have a little look at this. Can someone read this for me? So that's a lovely little memorial to him, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go around here and see what we can find. <laughs> well, we're going to have a wee look at the paintings. Meet Brown. Dog on that side. Yeah, we'll come back for the cars in a minute. Not dog. Um, fate. The fate, yeah. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here. Maybe we'll just wait. We'll be going over to the cars just now. Yeah. And then let's go to the cars. It's a bit quiet in there for people talking, I think. Yeah, and people are just looking at stuff there, so we'll try and just go and be noisy elsewhere, shall we? Yeah. Oh, look, I can see all the cars down there, William. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go and check them out. Our daughter's around somewhere making lots of noise. Oh, is she? Oh, we like noisy people. Noisy people. Excellent. Right. Can we get into this way? Let's come down here. Well, can we buy toys? My money? Yeah, yeah, we're going to have a wee look. I don't know if there is toys here though, Justin. My mum's dead, yeah. Oh, did your mum say yes? <laughs> right, let's go and see. Aha, this is the way to go. And look at all the weather here, isn't it getting all nice and green again? And what's this building here? It's the village hall. It's the village hall. Now, oh, wait a minute, let's have a little look here. So, this shows us exactly where we are in the village. So, we've got the village hall down there, we've got the cemetery at the back, we've got the Cockerney Burn, or the Cockerney, is that the Gurney Water, sorry? And then we've got the manse, the school, and the church. Yeah. Right. Oh, and what's this big stone over here? A it's a stone. Well spotted, William. Just look at the size of that one, Chloe. What do you think? Yes. 
You like that? Bigger than average. Bigger than average. Right, let's go and see these cars, shall we? Let's go and see what we can see. Oh, what's this we've got here? Is this a roasted pig? Look at that there. Right. So what car will we go and see first? Well, we just have a look around, see what, you t what takes your fancy. No, what are we looking at right here? What's this one, do you think? Do you know? It's like an Austin. An Austin, do you think? Mm. Let's just go and see what it says. Oh, it's a very 50s shape. It's a very 50s shape, isn't it? You are right, it's an Austin of England. Look at that. An Austin 40, no less. Very nice. I don't think I've heard of this one either. Now, here's one of my favourites from back in the 1990s. It's a very nice Mercedes Cabriolet, an E320, a 94, so this is even older than our car. Oh, wow. And what have we got down here? What's this one here? A Morgan. Oh, my word. Is this one of yours? Yes, uh, 1981. A 1981? I've but it looks it much 80. older than that. What's that, sorry? I've had it since 83. Since 83. And how many miles has something like this done then? 18,000. Is that all? Goodness me, I've done more than that in a year, I, I think, before. Yeah. So I have to say, have you ever looked at the new Morgans and you, can, and you think that these those two, that the new Morgan and the old Morgan all look like they're from exactly the same time? They look very similar, the old Morgans and oh, the new oh, ones. Oh yes, they, keep, they still make this body style. Oh, do they? Or at least until two or three years ago. But they brought out a new model called the Aero. Right. And oh, I don't yeah. like it. Oh, you're not so keen on that one. It's, it's, a, it's another one with the, with the hard top. And it's like got like all the curves and stuff on it. That's right. Um, very wide wings. Yeah. All right. So this is much more sleek. Yeah, they come in two models. Uh huh. This is what's known as a narrow body. Right. That one, if you look at it. Um, oh, you can see the back's much wider. Aye, it's much wider here, and the running board is twice as wide. Right. Got ya. So this is what's called a narrow body. Wow. Well, we're learning something today, well, we? I mean, usually you telling everyone else stuff, but then today we're actually learning something. I can see. It's going to be a big engine. It is a big engine. You can see these vents. So how far back does it... Oh, we're getting a look at the engine. Oh, oh excited. Oh, my goodness. William, come and see this. Now, that's a very clean engine, I must say. It's a... It's because it doesn't get used very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is what it looks like if you only do 18,000 miles in it. I wonder what kind... What kind... What... what? How many cylinders does it have? Sorry? How many cylinders does it have? Four. Four cylinder. It, it's the Ford 1600 cross flow engine. Huh. Oh. The same as was in the Cortina and the oh, Escort. Oh really? That sort of That's thing. what yeah. my parents used to have when I was a wee boy. Is it mounted length with Is it mounted length length with side? Because it looks a bit like it's mounted. Is it a horizontal or vertical engine? Or vertical. Vertical. Four cylinders. Right. To be Very honest, nice. I've seen this, like this is new. Right. I was having trouble with the engine cutting out, ah. um, and it was an electrical problem. So I, I converted it just 18 months ago to electronic ignition, and that has solved the problem. Oh, fantastic! So ah. a little bit of modernisation. Yep. Excellent. Well, we say thank you very much to the man for showing us our car, and thank we'll you. go on to the next one. Yeah. You're very Th well. Thank, thank you. you very much. Now this one here looks very, very nice. I do like the look of this one. Do you think it's just a normal mini wheel body kit, or is it a... Yeah. Right, William, let's come and see this one, because we know this car over here quite well. What is this car? It's a more modern Toyota Celica. A Toyota Celica. And what kind of car have we got? We've got a Toyota Celica. We've got a Toyota a GT Celica. Exactly the same as this, but not the Cabriolet version. And this one's a bit newer. Because Absolutely fantastic. Two different SIDs. This car is 
car had one plays music on CDs. Right, so I so the only difference we've spotted is ours is a tape deck, and this has got a more modern CD player, has it? And the wheels. And the wheels. Now, just look at that interior. It Wait, is ex our car can play tapes? Yeah, our car can play tapes. This is exactly the same. And what you can see, it's a Japanese one because the Japanese stereos have got those double type stereos in them. Or, sorry, we, the, the ones over here, the double, whereas in our one, the top bit still just has the Toyota badge, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this here? A 4.2 litre. E type Jaguar. Let's just have a look at this. This is one of the most beautiful cars in the world, is it not? This was the car to have in the 60s, wasn't it? I'd say it's still the car to have in the 2022s. Just look at this. Look at the interior, William. Come here a minute. What is that down by the. Br so I've got a handbrake there. Is that a double handbrake it's got? Double handbrake. What is that there? The little ja is that just a little Jaguar? thing or what does that do do you think so that's a handbrake there where's that other so look right next to it it's got a little so another lever the jaguar shape clay it's can just, you not lean on that car please it's just a shape just it, a shape it's not on that neck either. and look at this bonnet here look at that absolutely magnificent what do you think of this one Chloe? and while you're coming at the front front part here well, doesn't all have a grill on it? Is this just how it looks? Yeah, it doesn't all have. I think there might be an earlier model because the later models had. Or yeah, I think you might have, they might have removed the grill. Now, can we go and have a look at this Cortina down here? Now, look at this here, William. What's special about this one? It's got a twin. Twin cam. So twin cam. This must have been new technology back then, eh? Fairly new. Oh, did they? Aye. So is this your car? Aye. Would you like to tell us a wee bit about it for our video, maybe? I've had it for uh, 30 years. Oh, have you? More. Oh, wow. So wait a minute. What is all this down here? Ah, William, come here. Come here. You need to come and see this. I'm noticing some red buttons down there. So what does what are those in there for? Fog lights. Oh, right. Let's come and see the front. Let's come and see the front. Oh, 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 it's got rally lights on it. And so is this a Lotus engine as well? All oh, right, we'll need to get a look at this then. We'll need to get a look at this. So how old is this car then? So you had it from new? No. No. Uh, 1970. 1970, oh, it's older than me. Oh my goodness me. That's the dual cam. Is that the, the twin cam there? Is that what we're looking at? And, it, yeah. and what is this on the side here, William? That's a carburetor. What's that? that oh, carburetors. Carburetors. Is there a special name for those type of carburetors? Or? Yeah, Weber. Webers, that's yeah. right. I used to have them on my car as well. So these can be quite fern pernickety yeah. to get going properly, can't they? So you don't see these. These used to be the sort of pinnacle of technology when I was oh, young. Oh, yeah. That's what everyone had on their cars. But oh. nowadays it's all changed, hasn't oh. it? Um, but it still looks pretty much like our car as well and the, for all the bits and bobs it's got on it because we've actually got a Celica, the, just not the Cabriolet version of that one. Mm -hmm. So how much work has it taken you to get it looking like this, do you think? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> a lot of money as well. Well, the wife says that. <laughs> <laughs> so do you drive it very often? What kind of mileage is on it? 69,000. That's no bad for 30 odd, 40, 50. 52 year? Aye. 52 year old? Aye. My goodness me. And I like it's got all the old stickers and all hang on it as well. Look at that. These cars are quite popular. These cars were very popular. I, my mm -hmm. mum and dad used to have a, I think it was a 3.2 litre, the big red gin back in the day. Aye. That was a Ford, what do you call it now, the ST. Was it? Of its day. Aye. The yeah. equivalent of that. Aye. Absolutely magnificent. Right, well, we go to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. No so, I've got a wee MG here, another Morgan. <gasps> oh, now let's have a look at this one. So, smart cars are they usually fast cars? Never. Never. And what is this one here then? Well, the standard version is a three cylinder. Supercharged. A, a three cylinder supercharger. Yeah, a three cylinder. <laughs> now we're talking, aren't we? 107 horsepower. Uh, only 107 horsepower? 
But because it's so light, it'll kick out quite a lot of speed, won't it? But, if come, come. All oh, right, right, come here and show me. Do you see the carpets here? Right, I'm looking at the carpets. Oh, what does that say in the carpets? Rabbit is, one of Mercedes is in-house tuners. So this is like a tuned smart car, is it? Yeah, and if you look there, it'll give you some more. Oh! And that's, that stands for Brabus, so I'm not sure. Brabus. It could stand for a bribe by turbo, though. Could it? Yeah. No, yeah. I think that's the Brabus badge. I think you're right. Right, what one will we go on to next? Oh, do I see a Ford Capri? Let's see this. So is that a, t a Z80 or a 280? What is that? A 280. So is that a 2.8 litre, this one, then? Let's get a wee look. Oh, look at the interior of this one. Leather. Oh, look. Check those dials out. Retro I, style. I can't like the big thing. This used to be the big thing. This used to be the very big thing. Hey? Not a big sauce, but you don't need that. You don't need that. Right, what else have we got? Are we going to look at some of these ones over here? Yeah. Come on then. Let's go and have a gander. Oh! A Triumph! No less. Now, we used to have a Triumph as well, a Triumph Dolomite, I believe. What's this one called? TR4. TR4. Oh, so you know this one as well, do you? Yeah, yeah, a bit. Is this quite a famous one? What's in this then? It's like a V6. Is, is it a V6 that's in it? No, no, four cylinder? Straight four. Straight four? Oh, the TR4. Well, that's obviously it. Yes, there we go. And how old is this car then? One bit of paper I've got since 1962, another bit since 1963. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so that sort of age. Right. And look at this interior here, William. I think this is the nicest interior we've seen so far, don't you? Yeah. The red with the cream, it looks, and the dials with all the chrome around them. Um, and... Oh, can we have a wee look inside? Oh, William, there, let's take the man up in this offer. Do you want to have a wee look inside? Can you shall open the door? Yeah, open the door. You open the door. Push the button in. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> that catch on them. There you go. Oh my goodness me. And the wood, the wood as well. Yeah. So the wood effect is used pretty sparingly. And usually wood and plastic Only and stuff. Wood well, that's what I'm saying. Usually the wood and stuff doesn't go well with the plastic, but that looks quite good in there. The original, that model, yeah. 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 only had a white painted dashboard. Oh, did it? black vinyl on it. Right, so this is... And a green coloured car. You still had a white dashboard with black vinyl. <laughs> when I restored that, I thought, I want mine to match, so I just painted it Oh, wow, so this is all your own work then? Oh, magnificent. Oh, and I see we've got the little roll cage in the back, so this one can handle a bit of track. No, uh, it, it was imported from Texas. Oh, really? So I was lucky enough to get a car that had no rust on it. It's all its original floors and No humidity over there. You have to weld loads to it. So it, it had worked its way down the scale uh -huh. to the boy racers and was well abused. <laughs> What's and it that? It did come with a roll bar. I have another one, an older TR3 that I rally, and I use a roll bar on it. Right. So having had the bar there, I just decided to keep it. Sit in the back and. If you ever chose to put on it through, it'd be a bit safer. Is this the petrol cap here? Mm -hmm. That's I've never seen them in the middle of a, a book before. That must be quite unique in the car world as well, I would think. Well, it does let you pull up at both sides of the phone. Nah, oh well, yeah, there is definitely an advantage, isn't there? Absolutely fantastic. And what would something like this maybe be worth, do you think? Really? Oh my goodness me. I'll just take a wee step back for it then. Aye, what a car. I love these. Oh, and look, I love these. Aye. I bought it for about £3,000. Oh, did you? All of 25 years ago. Wow. With intent to do it, I never did it. I just took it in the corner and left it for 15 years. Uh huh. <laughs> it's been it's been been to <sighs> three years I spent about £8,000 on parts and scales. Really? And I could have gone out at that stage, that's nine or ten years, but I could have gone out at that stage and bought a perfectly good one Aye. for £12,000 and saved myself all the bother. Well, that's half the beauty of it though, doing it yourself. By the time I was finished the restoration, the prices were climbing. 
and all the, all the books to see what they were selling it. Uh -huh. And when I first got insured, when I first got it finished, the staff he using it, I insured it for 17 or 18,000. And I've stuck a couple of thousand on it over Each the time. Fantastic. You'll pay 30, 40,000 for a really top notch dealer restoration. Uh -huh. You know, a, a dealer that supposedly has far more expertise than you. And you'll get a car that was better than you. Uh -huh. uh, but you know, paying for it. Is this your one as well? No. No. no, no. So, uh, what is this one here? Is this a 2500S? So, it'll be a 2.5 litre in this one, William. Is that right? So this is, we had one like this, in fact, so my mother and father's Triumph Dolomite was bought from the house just down the road there, actually. And it was blue, just like this one. What do you think of this one, William? It looks a bit like a ladder. It's, it's a bit ladder but yeah. it's a bit nicer, though, eh? It's a bit, oh, it's a ladder premium. And we do love ladders, though. And what's this here? Is this a Mercedes? Triumph Stag. A Triumph Stag. So we've got all the Triumphs here. Two of them. Two of them. Let's have a little look at this block. This one looks pretty hefty, William. This is a very unusual setup. What do you think? Yeah, interesting. A three litre V8. I did think that one looked a bit bigger than the other ones we've been looking at. What I say? What? I was going to say, this is a monster of an engine for Britain at that time, isn't it? In America, yeah. we pretty mech. Because uh, all the other ones, the engines are kind of small, there's not much room, but this one is gigantic. And the average of British engine is about like V6 is the first level. And I do like the tan interior. Look at this, this is very retro. Yeah. Apart from this, oh, even the stereo's retro. That's a proper retro stereo. Right. New, right, well, we go around these ones at the bottom here and then we'll say cheerio. I think I found a Land Rover. Are we going to have a look at these? Oh my goodness. What's this in the front, Justin? Um, What's this down here? Boot. It's a tow bar. It's for towing things. It's a winch. So if somebody gets stuck in the field, we can winch them out. Oh, William, what have you found here? Uh, a, a, Lotus a Lotus 7. And what is a Lotus 7, young man? Um, I can explain it in short terms. The birth of the boy racer. The birth of the boy racer? Is that what this car is? It's light and it's got about 100 horsepower, four cylinder, really quick. Is it? And look, what have I, has it got Cobra seats in it as well? Yeah. Look at this. Absolutely magnificent. And look at these arches, William. Aggressive. Aggressive arches. Yeah, all done. Oh, I like that on the back there. And what kind of car is this? This one looks very snazzy. A TVR. Oh my goodness! Look at the size of the block in this one. Well, I have to say, I don't even know how. They Come around here and see it then. Oh, you like that one, Peter? <laughs> I don't understand how they even managed to drive it up here. It's that crazy. Is it? So tell us about this car. Tell us how crazy this car is. Four hundred horsepower. Four hundred V8 horsepower. engine. Rear wheel drive. Oh my goodness! So they might get a bit of trouble getting this back out of here if it's rear wheel drive and it rains, eh? Well, I got sick. And look at the fans on the front of this, William. Just look at that. Double fans. Look at the throttle bodies. I mean, everything about this car is just bigger, isn't it? See this car? It, I say it's a, it, it is a, it's, a, it's a Viper of Britain. It's the Viper of Britain. I would have to so agree with that if one. If you do one wrong move, I'll try to kill Oh, you. this is a Chimera. I know this car. I, I, I could only really know the Sobreros and stuff. Four, I know, I know, I know, me too. A four litre. Now, what is this one here? Look at this wee car. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so, William, could you come and read this to us, maybe? Would you like... You're going to read it for the top? Speak up a bit, though, so we can hear you. Occasionally stubborn, sees understanding companions for country, driver, country, country drivers. Days out, occasional weekends, we have warm nights in. Good body but wild off the right is in general grumbles. Enjoys life in the slow lane. <laughs> Care home fees approximately five thousand five hundred and fifty <laughs> my current car carer, Andy. Before oh. you pick me up, call on 07732117888 now, to arrange a meet up and see if we are Catherine, compatible. would this not just suit us down to the ground? <laughs> um, I can yeah. see you driving me about in this no bother at all. 
And Toy Dad bought me dot the Oh, did perfect. you get a magazine? Right, let's have a look around the front and have a look at this, the front of this. Isn't this a beautiful car? And? Oh, it's an Austin 7. William. Yeah? An Austin 7. And it's part of the Scottish Austin Club. I say, the Austins, Austins are very famous cars. They are very famous cars, aren't they? Oh, and what's this here? Oh, I do like a nice Mercedes. This is a very nice one, isn't it? And what have we got here? Person, yeah. Do you know what kind of car this one is, William? That's that boy there. No. Wait, this is not, I don't know what this might be. What might this be? What car is this then? It's not a Citroen, is it? No. It's a Citroen, is it? Are you sure? Oh, it is a Citroen, you're right. How do you know that, these things? That was amazing. <laughs> wow. Oh, what's this one? Oh, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Well, I'm coming, I'm coming. You tell me about this car. What do you know about this one? This is the old Citroen badge. Oh, this, oh right, the old Citroen badge. Because remember when they changed it recently? I do, I know, I see it now. I see what it is now. I mean, it looks like a bit of an extended pair edition of the 2CB. It does, doesn't it? Oh, I've got, I've got a joke for Oh, tell me your joke. What's your joke? What kind of cars do citrus fr fruits like to drive in? I don't know. What kind of car do citrus fruits like to drive oh, yeah. in? A Citroen. Ah! <laughs> Oh wow, look at those. What are all these badges, do you think? Are these from a car club? Look, in the back. Oh, let's go look in the back. Let's have a little look at this one. So, is this a Triumph? Oh, look, oh, there it is there. So, the Triumph Roadster, 70 years old. My goodness me. Imagine driving about in this car. Oh, and this one too. This is a very old one, isn't it? <laughs> Oh right, now this one here, this gentleman was telling us a bit about this car. So have you ever heard of a wooden car before? Yeah. Have Ford you? Did it. Ford did it when Ford they made did it. the British models. It was like this. So this is the Bentley, is it? Yeah. Now I heard there's a gentleman here who used to go to school in this car. Is that correct? That's right. Yes? Let's just have a wee look inside here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, let's have a look at the roof. What is... That looks like the roof in my bathroom. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, so, is that a wooden roof as well? Yeah, it's, well, it's wooden there and it's, it's felt, you know. Ah, I see, I see. Magnificent. And I remember these old style um, nettings as well. They are absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Right. I think we've done enough for today. Well, we see... Goodbye boys and girls! Bye! Bye. Bye.